philanthropy. Um, it's sort of a theory or, or a funny word to many. It's about um, engaging on a deeper level. Travel at donations to the needs of a destination. In our lives, it's tied into creating real happiness. The happiness of giving something, and especially the happiness of giving something unconditionally, may even create more happiness and more fulfillment. With any nonprofit organization, a challenge is finances. One advantage that this organization has is that it was based on tourism. So right there we had a market, so we were able to bring tourists here. The tourists learn from the cultural and environmental issues in the area. What the tourists pay, a little percentage stays with the organization to help support environmental education, English classes, after school programs, libraries, artisans, all these different other projects. El centro de aprendizaje, a ese les ha, les ha favorecido mucho a los niños y a la comunidad. Yo quise tener voluntarios por, para ver, para los muchachos, que ellos compartieran y aprendieran más. El inglés me ayuda así con lo que son ingresos. They are coordinating programs, environment education where they go to schools weekly, after school program where they're with the kids weekly. I mean, it's a long term program, so we look for people that have that time. I found this place, SCIC, on the internet. I've always been very interested in like getting to know other cultures, how people live in other countries. So it gives me more exposure, and it's a place that I feel like volunteering it means something. Nosotros llevamos ahí y ellos nos ayudan a nosotros, porque ellos allá no tienen árboles ni ni animales y cuando aquí vienen a ver los árboles y animales y nos nos enseñan mucho el inglés y nos enseñan la cultura de ellos. It's a small area. There's not very much opportunity for education. So bringing people from abroad with knowledge from other places um, about the world will offer more to the people in Sarapi. One future for sustainability in small-scale projects in communities is, is that local entrepreneurship. If you build a capacity in tree planting, that can be turned into a business for the community. So if you as a visitor pay for five trees to be planted, you actually paying for a product in a business. Tourism is the only industry that is consumed at source. The clients actually have to come to the source to consume it. And because it takes place in rural areas, it is a number one opportunity for transforming um, rural economies into market economies and uplifting the livelihoods of the local people. Our world needs uh, people to you know, have expanded world views and you do that by traveling and experiencing uh, different places, different cultures. When, when we're approached by things, communities, people, things we see where we feel it's a void between the lives we live and, and what we experience. And we realize that, that sharing some of our wealth, our knowledge, our resources is then filling that space with something fundamentally important to us. And that to me is traveler's philanthropy. It is traveling and learning, traveling, understanding, and being able to fill that void, that space of, that we always look for with something so simple as buying something or investing or giving. And to me, I think, Whatever is left of all the theory, that to me is philanthropy. It's a basic need. <laughs>